Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Marissa Walzak. Well, this morning we are looking at some clouds out there this morning, at least in the valleys, but you head into the Cascades along the coast looking at some sunshine to start off your Saturday. Here's a live look over Eugene again. You can see a nice layer of clouds that will break apart over the next couple of hours. Current temperature in Eugene is 45 degrees. Winds are out of the north at about 10 miles per hour, so a little bit breezy today, at least a little bit stronger than what we normally see across the area. Here's a look at temperatures into Central Oregon, 29 in Sun River, 36 in Bend. Along I-5, everyone's looking at those mid 40s, a little bit warmer into the Umpqua Basin. 49 right now in Roseburg. Out to the coast, you've warmed about a degree or two over the last 30 minutes, and you're now closer to the mid-40s. Satellite radar showing some of, of those clouds once again building into the valleys. Otherwise, clear skies into the Cascades and along the coast, mostly sunny skies. Still a few clouds out there. We'll all see that sunshine as we head into the afternoon. For those, though, who are sufferers of allergies, we have a moderate, uh, the tree pollen is at moderate today. Grass, though, has decreased to low low today, so still going to be a little bit just, uh, uncomfortable throughout the day today. Still the pollen levels not as low as we'd all wish they would be. Bigger picture across our area, as you can tell, we do have uh, those uh, mostly sunny skies for most of the area. That's because high pressure's in full control. It's taken that jet stream well up into the Gulf of Alaska before it does drop down near our area, but staying into Washington. So we'll still keep high pressure for today and actually for the entire weekend. So it should be a fairly nice weekend ahead. Today, temperatures low on the coast in the afternoon noon mid 50s so about what you saw yesterday for those in the Umpqua Basin you're looking at those low 70s with mostly sunny skies the Cascades low 60s in the foothills over the passes you're looking at those mid 50s heading into Central Oregon expect your high temperatures this afternoon into the low 60s keeping it very sunny as well and for the Willamette Valley looking at sunshine once we get into this afternoon once those clouds that are out there right now begin to break apart temperatures will make it into the mid 60s but today isn't going to be the warmest day of the weekend as we head into tomorrow. That's shaping up to be the warmest day. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast along the coast. Moving into Sunday, we jump about 10 degrees. Looking at those mid-60s on Sunday, then moving into Monday, clouds will increase just a bit. We get a little bit more of onshore flow, so all of that air coming in from over the ocean. Temperatures will drop into the upper 50s. We'll have a slight chance for a shower on Tuesday and then again on Thursday as the storm does slide just to our north, but so far keeping most of the rain to our north and into western Washington. The Amco Basin, your temperatures jumping into the upper 70s, pushing 80 degrees on Sunday. A few places in the Amco Basin could actually make it there. Heading into Monday, though, we'll pick up a few more clouds, cool things off into the low 70s, and then we'll fall into the 60s as we had Tuesday through Friday. More clouds out there, just a very slight chance for some rain, but at least those temperatures back near average. For those in the Cascades, these are temperatures over the passes, climbing into the 60s on Sunday, then we'll fall off into the upper 40s by Tuesday, and we'll stay in those 40s through the rest of the week. We'll have a chance for some rain-snow mix on Tuesday night and again Thursday night. For those in the Willamette Valley, we're looking at those mid-60s today, but temperatures jumping about 10 degrees into Sunday, mid-70s. As we move into Monday, though, cooling things off to 70 degrees, then dropping 10 degrees heading into Tuesday. We're into the 60s and then upper 50s for the rest of the week. We'll also pick up a few more clouds as well. Slight chance for a shower Tuesday night when we're all sleeping and then again Thursday night but both of those storms now tracking a little bit further to our north so we may just pick up a few more clouds than what we're going to expect this weekend and into Monday but uh, yes now the next couple days especially today and tomorrow looking pretty good sunny almost feeling like summer out there not too bad of a weekend to get out that's going to be so great